Welcome to part two of creating a new application. The next wizard page asks us about shared components. As you can see from the description here, shared components are common application elements that can be displayed or applied across multiple pages in an application. So think about something like a list of values. A list of values can be generated from either a static list or generated dynamically by querying information out of a database. Imagine if you use that list of values over and over again inside your application. And for every page that you had this list of values on, you had to recreate it from scratch, put all of the values in over and over again. What a pain in the neck. Apex has defined a whole bunch of graphical elements as shared components that you can share amongst different web pages or different applications inside of your workspace. So on this page, you have the ability to copy in shared components you've defined from other applications. Since this is the first application in our workspace, there obviously aren't any shared components yet. But as you start building them up, always be aware of the fact that you can copy existing shared components from other applications into your application. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel from scratch again. Since there are no shared components, I'll simply leave this as no and click onto the next page of the wizard. Here are some basic attributes of our application. We have the ability to have different authentication schemes as part of our database application. If we choose the Application Express authentication scheme, this will use any of the users that we have created as part of our workspace. So it'll come time for us to create end users inside of our workspace. This is how they will be authenticated before they can access our application. We can also authenticate against a database account, have no authentication, or use sophisticated authentication schemes like interfacing with an LDAP server. We can define the level of tabs that go along the top of the screen. We can have one level of tabs, two level of tabs, or no tabs. Again, you can go back and change these at any time. The primary language of our application, how that language is derived. We can specify date, date time, timestamp, timestamp, time zone formats as part of our application. Right now, we're going to leave all of the default values here and go on to the next page of the wizard. Themes are an incredibly powerful feature of Oracle Application Express. Themes allow us to define how the application is presented to the end user. Themes are nothing more than collections of templates. The template defines things like what font we're going to use, what the background color is going to be, what happens when we highlight something. I'm going to use this productivity applications theme. There's an HTML5 icon here to indicate that the elements that make up this theme are all based on the HTML5 specification. This is really powerful when it comes to defining mobile themes. There are a set of mobile themes that are available also. They're not available here because if you remember on a previous page of the wizard, we said we wanted to create this application with a desktop user interface. If we had chosen the jQuery mobile smartphone user interface, we would see a single theme here that's devoted to jQuery mobile smartphone themes. You can take the different templates, modify them, rename them, then you can recombine any of the template elements into your own theme. That theme can then be made available to your developers to create their applications. If you really want to get fancy, you can even give end users the ability to change themes on the fly so that they can tailor the application to look exactly the way they want to see it. For now, I'm going to choose productivity applications. Once I have all of the pieces that are assigned with my application, I'm always presented with a confirmation screen. This screen is just there to say, here's the choices you made. Are you sure you want to move forward? If I don't, I can always hit the back button to go back to any one of these pages inside my wizard and make some changes. When I click Create Application, what's going to happen? The wizard is then going to call the internal engine of Apex, and it's going to generate a whole bunch of PL SQL code behind the scenes that are going to get stored inside the movie schema inside my database. These PL SQL packages are then going to be used to drive the application. So when I click Create Application, you can see how fast Apex was able to do that. It generated an entire application and an entire set of PL SQL packages that can then be referenced through Application Express to start running my application. Since I chose all of the default values in the wizard, what we're going to see here is not a production quality application. 
but it is a true fully functioning application. If I scroll down and I look at the interactive report, I can then run this page by clicking this icon right here. I'm prompted for a username and a password. I'm going to choose my Paul developer, and I'm not limited to this login page either. I have the ability to change this login page so that it looks more like a typical login page that's associated with an application. When I run it, I now have a fully functional report that's querying information from my database. I have the ability to go in there and scroll different pages. You can see how quickly I can pull that information right out of my database. I have a pencil icon that gives me the ability to edit a particular value. So when I edit this value, it's going to take me over to the form page so that I can edit the drive movie. If I click on that. I'm taken here. You can see I already have a couple of simple graphical elements. Oracle was smart enough to realize this was a date field. So it gives me this little graphical element that I can use to alter the date of this record. I can delete the record. I can save the record. You can see that I've saved it with the new date and I can see the information there. This report can be sorted by a whole bunch of different values here. I can sort by category. I can say I want to do descending. Sort by ascending. I didn't have to write any code to do any of this. The ability to generate a fully functioning application just by answering some questions from a wizard is absolutely amazing.